Have you ever had a really sore neck, muscles in spasm, feeling tight and locked up? Well, today I'm going to talk to you about muscles at the other end of the spectrum. That's right, down there. I'm talking about the muscles of the pelvic floor, muscles which, when in spasm, contribute to pelvic pain. Now, muscle spasm can be the cause of pelvic pain, or it can occur secondary to other causes such as endometriosis, which is an inflammatory condition causing painful periods. But either way, it's a really difficult area to both diagnose and to treat. Currently, diagnosis relies on palpation of tight bands of muscle called trigger points within the vagina. And treatment relies on physiotherapy with muscle stretch and relaxation techniques used to help relax the muscles. And while this works very well for some women, for some there is no relief. My research uses four-dimensional ultrasound to help in the diagnosis and treatment of women with pelvic pain. You know the type of ultrasound. We more commonly use it to capture images of babies' faces while women are pregnant. I used this imaging modality on 750 women to look at the differences in the pelvic floor muscle dimensions and characteristics when we compared groups of women with pain and those without. And guess what? There were differences. Women with pelvic pain have a smaller area bounded by their pelvic floor muscles, giving us more evidence of muscle overcontraction. But what can we do for these women when physiotherapy fails? Well, the answer is Botox therapy. Now, we know what Botox does to our foreheads, essentially preventing the release of neurotransmitter so that the nerves and the muscles can't communicate with each other. Previous research has shown that this is a very effective treatment for pelvic floor muscle spasm. But the problem with the current method of injection is that it relies on finger guidance. And in the close confines of the vagina, that does create issues with the accuracy of the injections, as well as exposing that doctor to a risk of needle stick injury. My research uses four-dimensional ultrasound to help guide the injections of Botox into their target muscles, helping to improve the accuracy of the injections and decrease the risk of needle stick injury for the clinician, and essentially relieving that pain in the butt. Thank you.